Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. I uh, first started playing this, or the first time I played this game was probably when I was in like sixth or seventh grade. I had a lot of fun with it. Played it a couple more times since then, but I've had an itch to play it now, so I figured, hey, why not record it? Oh, that looks like a fun setup there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of tutorial stuff to get to before we can fight off zombies with flaming tree stumps in the pool. So our first little plant here is the pea shooter. Relatively. Their special ability is to bounce back and forth. and shoot zombies. The sun is like the currency, so collect that. Although explanations here are probably unnecessary because chances are people know what this game is by now. Final wave. Ta-da! Sunflower. Easily the most important plant you'll ever get. Because it gives you more sun. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hooray, more yard space. Give me that sunflower. sunflowers you have, the faster you can grow plants. One more. Bam. Man, there is a lot of me not talking right now, unfortunately. <clears throat> There's just not a whole lot of things happening in this first set of levels here. So, it's slightly disheartening, but, you know, you gotta start off small. Where, unlike the time I played Crash Bandicoot for this channel, I shouldn't die in the first level, so that's nice. It would appear that I sent my pea shooter down, on the, or my extra pea shooter down on the wrong lane. Suck it, zombies. Ooh, the cherry bomb is a fun one. First of all, the crazy look the one on the left has got in its eye is just hilarious. <clears throat> and the right one's right eye, or well, it's left eye, but the, the right one's eye on the right of us is also hilariously squinty. More sunflowers. I'll probably get enough sun to lay down a 
pea shooter before that thing can do anything, so. I know I have at least a couple friends who are annoyed, who would be annoyed that the sunflowers are bouncing out of sync. It's all just oh so slightly out of sync, too. I'll try to save up enough sun seat to show what the cherry bomb can do. I think I'll make that a point to do every time I get a new plant, is just use it at least once, even if I'm not a fan of it. Pow! Or powie, as they say. But yeah, also the uh, zombies being all charred and stuff is hilarious. This game has personality in spades and I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down a pea shooter on the top row there because cones give extra protection. So here we go. Mmm. <clears throat> Took all of them out in <clears throat> one fell swoop. It's awesome. The effective range of the cherry bomb is pretty solid too. If you plant it just right, it can do plenty of damage. Alright, so now they've given us the rest of the lanes in the yard. One, two, three, four, five total. I don't know why I had to do that recount for myself. I was pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I knew it was five. after I get myself situated. What they do is they're like a defensive thing. Which is really cool. are still exposed aside from the sunflowers. It's a good thing they're not like waltzing the zombies in here more than one at a time at the moment. <laughs> Alright, so in one minute, probably because I'm going to have to, I'm going to throw that Walnut down. We'll throw him right there. Give me room to work with if I see. So Zambi Man here goes to try and eat him, but it takes him forever. 
Just walnuts have a tough exterior. <laughs> oh, but the more he gets eaten, <clears throat> the uh, more discomfort it appears he's in. Let's see if I can't save this walnut. He's probably toast. Oh, and when they're hurt, they look at that, they kind of bounce back and forth more. With more pace. Or at least, maybe it just looks like that because it's smaller. Oh, I'm gonna need another walnut for the- well, I'm probably not gonna need another walnut for that row because... Two pea shooters, plenty to handle the uh, cone head. Change my mind. Bam! Nice. Shovel. I can't plant a shovel. Let's you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. Yeah, so, like, if I were to have wanted to replace that walnut that I had, that was almost dead in that last round, I could unplant it and put a new refurbished walnut in its place. Oh, I've just kind of been... My bad. This is Crazy Dave. He's our crazy neighbor who's wearing a pot on his head for a hat or whatever. And he's teaching us how to use the shovel. Let the digging commence. Ta-da. Oh, goody. Now the surprise. We're going bowling! I'll take this here walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy! I'll go bowl me a winner. Every fifth level in this game is going to be something that is like an auto-fed gimmick type deal. They're usually not too bad. And it's a nice way to shake up, because once you get so many plants, you fall into a rhythm of which ones you enjoy using and which ones you prefer to go without. So shaking it up and making you do certain ones isn't too bad of a pace breaker. Also, these are lovely. They're cherry bomb or they're like red walnuts. They function like cherry bombs, basically. Oh, explode on it. That's what they call them. Alright, so we're just gonna hit there. Although I'm kinda silly, I probably should have hit them with the uh, explodey one. Ah! My mouse quit working for me for a second. You're getting close to the red line. We're gonna. Oh yeah, the explosive ones ignore armor, which is something that the cherry bombs do in most circumstances, except probably the end of the game. I'm gonna take down their flag carrier there, because... Oh man. Look at them go. Alright. Finished. 
let's see over here. From Bloom and Sea in Bloom and Doom Seed Co. The potato mine explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. Ooh, these guys, pole vaulters. So the potato mine is nice in the beginning stages of the level because it's like 25, so that's just one sun. So while you're getting set up you, and a zombie's approaching, you can still just throw it down like back here and be adequately defended for a decent amount of time. For example. <laughs> Sud Pow. Apparently that was an achievement. I like heard this little ring. I don't know if it came across in the recording or not, but there was like a ring and I was like, ooh, look at that. I was sitting here collecting sun and forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing. As far as playing uh, plants goes. See, you know, it does take some time for the potato mine to arm, and that's the one drawback. Is that... are kind of jerks and they'll jump right over you your things also they run until they yeah so we'll just throw a sunflower down there now usually it's better to throw down a walnut but my last one I think is still recharging so that's why I didn't do it 